Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your battery is Bookie Wright. In a recent interview said she loves when people are genuine and hates when people are faking it. This was in a recent interview. But then there's a current situation of people saying that there was a cold war between Tony Hebron and Funke Akindili Bello. And a blogger linked this interview to when Buki Wright supported Funke Akindili Bello's movie on her own page. As a daily reported, Cinema Point uh, on Instagram for movie reviews viewed Tony Hebron's movie, but uh, they did something unusual by comparing Tony's movie to Funke Akindili Bello's movie. Funke Akindili Bello's movie is Omogeto the Saga. And whilst Tony Hebron's movie's name is The Ghost and It's Out 2. Usually, actresses and actors support each other on social media platforms by reposting their movies. And for this past week, we've seen some actors who have supported Funke Akindele Bilu's work and some even admiring her work and the changes she's bringing to Nollywood, including the Yuba actor Ibrahim Chata. And the Yuba actress Fethi Williams and Bookie Wright have also reposted Funke Akindele Bilu's work on their page, which a lot of people then interpreted as this actor supporting Funke Akindele Bilu against Doin Abraham, mainly because of what happened previously. And as you had earlier reported, it was in a recent interview where Bookie Wright stated her like and dislike and talked about her background and what is happening recently in her life. Bookie Wright is a veteran Yuba actress who has been in this movie industry since the year 1996. And this recent interview was with Owambe. It is in their September issue. When she spoke a little about herself, these are some of the things in the interview. Please stay with us if you want to know what she discussed in this interview. She was asked if she ever had the thought of becoming an actress when she was growing up. And then she said no, she never dreamt of becoming an actress as a child until she started watching the children's television series on the NTA, Tales by Mullet. Or why she relocated abroad to the USA. In her words, I decided to go back to school to do my master's and do other things. Don't forget that my two sons are brought to. I needed to be with them while they grow up. And on if she does any other thing apart from acting, you say she's a certified information security analyst. On if she has plans to remarry, well, she revealed that there is no lucky man yet. You didn't know she has separated from her last husband. It had been a rumor until this moment. She was asked if she was a proud person as she had this to say. I can say that I'm not a proud person. But I'm a proud mother of two young men that God has given me. But because I'm an introvert that minds my business, stays on my lane, and didn't take shit from anyone, people would call it pride. On her likes and dislikes, this was where she stated that I love genuine people. I hate when people are fake. So it had nothing at all to do with what is currently happening between Hebram and Funke Akindele Bilu. On her beauty secrets. Now what? I drink a lot of water, very fussy about what I eat and I exercise too. However, these are not what makes someone look graceful. I think I'm just a recipient of God's grace. For educational background, she attended Colorway to Success in Udubulu in Ogun State and then St. Paul's Anglican in Isolo. She also attended MHS in Okota and Top Teachers College in Ilukweju area of Lagos State before she proceeded to invest of Lagos in Akoka. And then she also attended European American University and International MBA Institute in USA. So these are some of the little things she reviewed in that interview. If you want to know more about Bookie Wright, please stay with us. Very short and interesting biography of Bookie Wright. Her full name is Uluwa Bukola Sekinat Ajake Wright, but then she's popularly called Bookie Wright. As stated earlier, she started her acting career in the year 1996. She was born to a Christian father and a Muslim mother on the 31st of March in the year 1967 in Abel part of Ogun State. She grew up in Abel and it was after her university days that she decided to go into acting. She has featured in both Yoruba and English movies over the years, including the Owali Adenuga's television series. Bookie Wright knows how to act emotional roles so well that even so many of her fans say that they cry when Bookie starts to cry in movies. Some of her popular works include Shaoride, Above Love, Abeni, Outcast, Kodun Kupo Kupo, KKK, Motara Johnson, Unforgivable, Afefe Alafia, Dube Dube, Habiba at Okonene, Habiba at Red Hot, Yori, and When Love Happens, just to mention a few of them. And over the years, she has been honored with several awards, including the Best Supporting Actress at the African Movie Academy Awards, Most Promising Actress in Nigeria, at the 6 People Entertainment Awards, and Best Actress in a Television Slash Drama 
at the African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Well, apart from her acting career, she's also an entrepreneur. She runs a fashion house and personal clothing brand line called B Collections. In addition to it, she also opened her own beauty spa called B Rights. A lot of people criticized Bookie over the years, but this actress said that she tries to not let this bother her. And in her words, it does not get to me. It takes the grace of God and determination to stay in this kind of profession without going through controversies and the but I have never allowed controversies to get to me. I understand the fact that I have a price to pay for being a celebrity. But that does not mean I should start jumping over the place because I'm a celebrity or because I want people to know I'm still relevant. Or now she has been able to stay scandal free in the movie industry over the years. Well, in our words, I've been very careful. Somewhere in this industry, it is not easy to stay scandal free because we are all women and blood flows in our veins. But at the same time, I've been very careful and God has been by my side. On how she's being careful on social media, I'm very careful about what I post on social media. I post what is needed to be posted and not frivolities. What I don't have to post, I don't post. Especially if it has to do with my private life. It's my private life. And I believe my private life should remain private. Well, so far over the years, it is only booking right marital status that has been a subject of controversy. Apart from that, she is one of the actresses who are free from controversies. Booker Wright has two sons with her first husband. The names of her sons are Eniola and Benga. One of them is a US Air Force officer and the other one is into music. He's quite popular now. His stage name is OG. OG launched his career in the year 2015 and Booker has been of great support to her son. Or now she unwinds. Well, she says that we're comfortable, relaxing and motivating. It could be anywhere. She does not care as far as it has three things. This show perhaps she really shares anything on social media. But then, some years ago, she shared her son's achievements with members of the online community. This was when her son became officially part of the United States Air Force. And the problem could not contain her excitement. She went ahead to share prayers and blessings upon her son. She also went ahead to ask the good Lord to continue taking it from glory to glory. In our words, Father Lord, I bless your name. Congratulations on coming. You will continue to go from glory to glory in Jesus' mighty name. And the photo said the young man was seen at his graduation ceremony has received this certification from some false officials. Some of our colleagues also in the movie industry were spotted in the comment section who were celebrating along with her for her son's achievements. So this is a little bit about the show back to his book, right? We have come to the end of this episode where Bookie Wright reviews that she loves genuine people and hates when people are fake. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.